Hi you guys, I will be showing you how to make these cute cell phone straps using Iwaka erasers. So to get started, of course you'll need a Iwaka macaroon eraser. So let me open this. And I also, I glued these together, but I found another way to do it without glue so you can use glue if you want but I actually found a different way so you got the eraser and well for this one you might have to use glue so yeah you need to use glue for this one so what you would do is take it apart and I'm going to use super glue and yeah so be very careful with that now I'm just using plain old nail glue but this is the best glue to use it's called jewelry metal glue but my top is stuck on here so I don't want to even try to go there with it Ew, what in the world is going on here Oh, look. Yeah, my top got stuck, but it looked like it might still work, so let me just try to spread some. So I'm just spreading it in between here and in the middle. Normally you would put the glue on this part, like so. Yeah, I hope this don't get on my hand. Yo. So, okay. Glue it together. Let me get me something so I don't have to use my fingers. You can use like a toothpick or something so you don't get your fingers stuck on here. Okay, put some more glue on this part so it will stick. It's already sticking. And then just line it up and stick it together this is kind of messy and you just press it down and okay mine's is kind of oozing off so let me get some paper and wipe it off okay so i stuck that together up oh, and you know what i forgot a step which is to add the eye pin so I'm just gonna stick it in here real quick before it dry up and okay what it's doing and just add this in here so what you would do is add the pin first put the glue on top And I'm, I use the one with the hoop. I don't remember what you call it. I think it's the eye pin. So yeah, you can just cut this off. I'm just gonna use some scissors, but you can use the ply. What you call those? The pliers or something. So you add the little head pin right here, so you can add the cell phone strap. So you got that done now you can either draw the face on or I'll put rhinestones like here I use rhinestones so I'm gonna skip the drawing the face part I'm gonna show you how to add the head pins into the other erasers now for the biscuit as you can see this will not open up what I did was inserted the head pin here all the way through and it came out the top so you don't have to use glue for this one and as you can see it will not open up now you can use glue if you just want a little more security so I'm going to show you Let's see, try to slide it out a little bit see and I use these to push it in 
so it went through everything so it would not come through now for the cupcake I insert the head pin at the bottom and let me see you can actually see the head pin through here and you just stick it in through the hole and then it come out at the top but I'm going to add a little glue just to keep it sturdy like so don't want that to be flopping around and that's it for the cupcakes so yeah I just show you how you can add the head pin through any of the erasers for the macaroon you have to glue together like so you can add a little whipped cream on here okay now back to the face you don't even have to add face, you can just add some stones. So you will need some stones, of course, as I got here. And a rhinestone pencil to pick it up. Like this. So yeah, I'm back. So what was I saying? Now, you can draw any cute kawaii face. And I would prefer the brown and pink instead of the black and red. Like here I use black. And I had red cheeks at first, but... You can use a permanent marker, but I'm just going to use a pen just to show you a quick. Okay, my macaroon is still kind of wet, so I'm just draw. Draw the face. Like I said, you can use acrylic paint or whatever to draw the face. I'm just using the ink pen. red pen hopefully the red pen work or I can just use I'm gonna use the rhinestones for the cheeks and I hate this glue because it kind of runs everywhere so yeah I add a dab of glue then I'm gonna use a rhinestone for the cheeks Add another dab of glue. Like so. And that's basically it. And you can keep adding stones on around it and on the back. But that's basically it. Like I like I did with this one. You don't have to add a face or whatever. Then once it dry, I use some resin spray to make it glossy. If you can even see that, it's glossy. So you can just spray it with resin or whatever. Use whatever gloss you want. So I hope you guys like my tutorial. If not, oh well. So here is the finished product. And I added some gloss. Here's the biscuit. That one has gloss too. And here is the um, macaroon. And as you can see, it's glossy. And all I did was spray it with this resin spray very quick and easy so hope you like 